Um, which couple do you think has the best relationship? I'm actually going to throw a wild card in there. Mm. I was sat in the Royal Box with the Wessexes uh, not too long ago, and they struck me as really down to earth, really happy, really normal. And I think there's something of being the youngest child, obviously, Prince Edward is the youngest child of Her Majesty the Queen, that gives you a freedom, a liberty to kind of live a life almost separate to the royal institution whilst remaining within it on the mm. periphery. And they're great people, so I'm going to, I'm going to nominate them as the, the happiest. Yeah, OK, that's very nice. They're not on the list now. now. What's, <laughs> well, I wasn't, what's aware, I wasn't aware there was a list. What's your off. next answer? Um, the Cambridges. The Cambridges, you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and what, what, what is it about? smashing, aren't they? they? Everyone loves them. They yeah, just they're lovely. elude kindness. Mm -hmm. you know, it just emanates from them. Do you remember the time when uh, William thought that he wouldn't go out with Kate and he sort of thought he would sort of go off and he did? And then the next shot you saw of her, she was on this boat and she was at the head of the boat and she looked fantastic. And I bet he'd take a look <clears> at that and thought, oh, hang on a minute, I think I should go back because she's really nice. <laughs> what, what do you think? Well, she played the rules. She, really she did it well. really well. She didn't was she? photographed out with his best him. friends yes. and everything. Looking, looking hot fabulous. out the, the every night. Was almost, I think, I know, I think I can learn a lot from water, her, honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got to say Prince William and Kate as well. The, the only thing that I will say, obviously, you know, that my thing is about carbon net zero and all of that kind of stuff. I think that Kate has struck the exact right balance when it comes to keeping out of the political stuff. And Prince William has been talking a lot about climate stuff and I don't know, I think that sometimes that can be a little bit too political, but I think that the royal family to remain as brilliant as they are, that they're, they're different, they're separate, they don't get involved. Like the Queen, you were talking about how wonderful the Queen is, a lot of that is because she hasn't got involved. She's mm. separate from us. Unlike us no... lot. I mean, this, yeah. is, this, is, how, well, this nothing... is how we spend our lives these days, well, this isn't is it? These are Commentators. Our but there's nothing less woke than the royal family, and that's the way it should be. So getting involved in woke issues... But what do you mean by woke? Well, OK, so Harry and Meghan raising money for mermaids, which wants to give kids um, medication to change gender, that... that that's not cool, is it, as far as I'm concerned? Yeah, I don't, I don't like the sound of that either. Yeah. I mean, that